Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again. Listen, I thought I would tell y'all more about my garage desk setup. Now listen, on YouTube, you got tons of minimalistic, clean desk setups out there. And I wanted to show you like what a real productivity desk looks like, at least in my opinion. Everything I have on my desk serves a purpose. It's here for a specific reason. And it may not be the super minimalistic thing that you see all on the internet, but this is something that you might be able to set up if you're working in a garage or if you have a small space and you wanna be able to set something up practical, man, that, that's why I use my, my use case for mine. Now, just to give you some background, so obviously I do run a YouTube channel, uh, but I also have a day job. Um, I'm an adjunct professor for a couple of universities, as well as I have another day job where I do audit type work and consulting. So there's a lot of different things that I got to be able to do, you know, in different configurations. So, you know, we can start off with like the base of my desk itself. This is the Husky, um, I think it's the 52 inch desk. It's actually a workbench that is made and you can get it at Home Depot, but I picked this thing up specifically because you know it's something that's that's durable this is a garage but it does have the ability to go up it can go down i'll link up a video below of where i've kind of you know it has this little handle here you simply stick this handle into the side of the desk then you can crank this bad boy up and down as you see fit so you know i, I use that all the time so hopefully you can see behind me so this is what i'm talking about with the desk is it's it's pretty nice desk and uh, you know, I beat it up, I hit it with a hammer, I burned it with a blowtorch, I made it my own. It doesn't have a huge desk mat on it like you'll see in some videos and, and all that good stuff because I kinda, you know, this is how I wanna use my desk. I like the feel of wood and all that good stuff. Then I put a layer of polyurethane on top just to give it that extra layer of quote unquote protection even though I did beat it up with hammers and blowtorches to get it to how I want it. You know, and all this is being ran with the M1 Mac Mini and hopefully you can see, I keep it in the top drawer of my actual desk. There's plenty of videos out there on YouTube about this machine. I have the baseline M1, it's the eight gigabit, 256 uh, gigabytes of solid state storage. You know, so it gets the job done for me. So I keep a lot of stuff out of sight, out of mind. So on the top of my desk, we're gonna work from left to right. So, you know, one of the most important things is being able to listen to music or listen to sound whenever I'm auditing, you know, or editing or whatever. So I, I have these Nor 99s that I picked up from Drop. Now these things are okay, they are wired. They sound pretty good when I'm like listening to music and all that good stuff. But when it comes to like video editing, uh, I don't really prefer to wear these. You know, I will, I normally prefer to wear the Sony dynamic stereo headphones these are some some pretty decent headphones that i picked up and these are wired headphones as well they're really comfortable but they're really sound accurate and they sound really good and they let me know that i'm, I'm getting some good audio and i keep those hung on the side of my desk right to my left so the nor 99s i primarily use for music i will use them for music i have them on this wood stand that i picked up from amazon it's a real simple stand nothing freaking crazy about it but I don't even think it's real wood. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's faux wood, but I think it looks really nice. I mean, and it holds on the very bottom of that. It keeps one of my cigar cutters in a, in a, uh, a Zippo on it. Obviously you guys know, I like to enjoy cigars. Um, so those are always pretty accessible to me, you know, for other ways that I'm able to produce sound from this desk. I have the Audio Engine HD3. They're older studio speakers, but they sound really good. I think they can't, they're can't. they at least six, seven years old or something like that. I think they sound great. They're Bluetooth and they have a DAC built in. And, you know, just for simplicity purposes, a DAC is just a built in like amplifier. So you can get that much more out of, instead of just using the internal uh, amplifier of your computer now you have one more amplifier to kind of make the music sound that much better if you're using wired headphones which i use those 99 nors but i also can just play those just out loud they sound really good they don't i don't have a subwoofer to kind of sound like a little party also on my desk i do have a google home i use this primarily for i have a couple of google speakers synced up throughout my office my garage office garage man cave space you know i'm able to use this to listen to, to talk radio music i think it sounds really crisp and if i'm moving around different areas and not necessarily working at this desk i think that sounds really good to have that 
the audio device that captures audio. So if I'm giving a lecture, if I'm doing a voiceover for a YouTube video, I use the, it's the Motu M4 audio interface. It has four inputs that it can take. You know, I have, I'm using right now, uh, that's all linked together with the Electro Voice RE20. I'll use this every now and again. I'm using it right now. It sounds really good. It's a good sounding microphone. I use this for voiceover work. Sometimes I use it in YouTube videos. I think it gives a really crisp sound. A lot of radio stations use this thing. This thing is, is freaking, I think pretty legendary. I think it's been getting used for a long time. But that's all being held by a Rode PSA1 microphone arm, boom arm, so I can just kind of tuck it out the way whenever I'm not using it. Next to that, I have the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. Now this specific dock is uh, Thunderbolt 3. So I think Th Thunderbolt 4 has begun to come out, but I don't have a need for that right now. But the, the Mac Mini doesn't have that much ports in the back. I think every single one of my ports are taken up with the keyboard and with storage for my YouTube videos, the time machine back up for this machine, other portable storage, all, all my slots are taking up. So, you know, I got this so that I can, and also, you know, the Mac M1 does not have an SD card reader, which is important for my workflow here for YouTube. So, you know, I bought this device where it has plenty of ports, it's high power, it, it actually provides power delivery just in case I wanna use one of my work laptops with this device as well. It provides power delivery, so it's really reliable and it's really aesthetically pleasing, really sleek. Next to that is, I do keep this, it's this company called Sum, Sum Products. This is their Puck wireless charger and this thing is, it's it's pretty good. It This thing is pretty good. It rotates in different angles. If I want my phone facing me like so, I can put it on there. Now my phone's facing me at an angle. Say for instance, I don't wanna see my phone. I'm trying to, you know, get some work done and I can turn it, it becomes more horizontal. It still begins to charge and I can tuck it out the way. So I really like that feature as well. So next to that is a little bottle of bourbon. Of course, you know that we like to get down with bourbon on both of my channels and so this is woodford reserve double oaked some really good bourbon and i also have an xbox controller that stays on my desk every now and again i will play xbox i have a tv a little 32 inch tv behind me and it has xbox series x plugged up into it so my device of choice for input and for controlling everything is the logitech mx uh, three mouse. This is a really re reliable mouse. I've heard tons and tons about it and I was kind of reluctant to pick it up. I decided to go ahead and get it just because I wanted to see what all the hype was about. It actually really is a good mouse. It has a lot of different functions where you can quickly shift screens. If I'm working in, you know, YouTube or if I'm working in Final Cut Pro, I can sh scroll my whole timeline using this mouse. It has a lot of built-in features, which I like. So my input device for my keyboard, this is the iQnix. F96 Dark Knight Edition. So the keycaps, I think it's, it's cherry brown keys. Sounds really, really good when I'm typing. I just, I really enjoy the way it sounds. I mean, let's see if we can pick up a little sound. And I kind of let you see what it sounds. I'm just slowly but surely starting to get into man mechanical keyboard. So I decided to pick this up. It's kind of my first run at it. I like this thing because all the keycaps don't actually have the letters on top. They're neatly hidden on the front side of the keycaps, which I think is a unique feature. It forces me to type a little bit better. And you know, I just think it looks really cool. It does work off of Bluetooth or wired. I have a custom coiled aviator connector um, wire that I had, I bought from Etsy and I like the way it looks and it keeps the keyboard charged and I do like to use RGB a little bit. You see I have some green RGB turned on right now. So the monitor itself is a 32 inch LG ultra fine monitor. This is a true 4K monitor. It has incredible colors. It's really good for editing YouTube videos. If I'm working on something, if I'm, you know, viewing video content, I can view it in true 4K. And you know, they're they're reasonably priced and allows for me when I'm in Final Cut Pro devices like that, I can scroll the entire timeline and have it on one big screen. I can see what I'm looking at. It makes just life a lot easier. I really enjoy this thing. I've had this thing for about a year now. And it comes with its own ergonomical arm so you don't even have to buy like a, a desk mount ergonomical arm so now i can adjust it up and down but you know i really enjoy it on top of it is a really really cheap light bar 
that I picked up on Amazon is actually really phenomenal. This thing lets me change the color temperature uh, from daylight to kind of an incandescent type look. You know, I can brighten it, I can lower it, and it does not produce a glare on the screen, but what it does is illuminate my keyboard, it illuminates my mouse in my writing surface. That way, if I don't have a major light on out here, I can still see what I'm doing. It reduces eye strain because I don't have any of those cool blue light glasses. So just having, you know, that light there is helpful. The entire back of the desk has LED strips around the monitor and the back of the desk. Usually this desk is pushed up against the wall, but that illumination behind the monitor also helps reduce eye strain as well. To whenever I have Zoom calls and all that good stuff, yes, I will use the RE20, but sometimes I will use what's above me right now. This microphone that is right above me is the Rode NTG5. That's being ran into a Sound Devices Mix Pre 3, and that's usually ran directly into my computer, or I'll run it through the Motu M4. And you know, I can run that right into a Zoom call, get incredible sound qualities. So people can't see what I'm using. You know, I also will sometimes use the Rode. Video mic NTG, which is on the microphone we're using right now. And every now and again as well, I will use the Rode Wireless Go 2 set. And I'll use this either directly clipped to my shirt or I'll run a lavalier mic underneath my shirt and just kind of have it clipped on the inside of my shirt or taped up or something like that. So just different options. I will usually run my Sony A6600 directly into the cam link. Uh, this is, I mean, these things have been out for years. This allows for you to take the HDMI output directly from your camera, run it directly into your computer. It's plug and play. Every computer that I own just senses it as a camera. I don't have to install any additional software. This thing is pretty cool just for stuff like that. So I can use it for Zoom calls, Google Meet, and just, you know, even if I want to record something right here at my desk. Always on my desk is a Mo Skin notebook. I prefer to get the notebook, which has the squares on it versus the normal, like, um, you know, grid lines or, you know, the, the normal writing line. So I prefer that it has the squares on it. I think it just makes me a little bit more productive to sometimes be able to write stuff down. I do use productivity tools like Toggle and stuff like that that tracks my time. But sometimes just being able to write down what I'm doing is really, really beneficial and it's really useful. And, you know, I do have the over the ear headphones and I use that stuff all the time. And sometimes I do want to have different wireless options for whenever I'm up, you know, at the desk. So I will sometimes use the Bose. These are the QC 700s, I believe. They are really easy to use. They fit over the ear pretty good and they sound great. I don't necessarily like using these whenever I'm editing a video because I don't want to worry about latency between the audio and, and, and the video itself. But when I'm just listening to some music and I'm walking around the garage, this is a, a phenomenal option to use for stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes I even want to go smaller than that. So I do have the Google Pixel Buds. This is the second generation and these things are phenomenal. I do have a leather uh, case on the outside just to get that patina because we all love a little bit of patina patina of course hydration is key you've seen this in a couple of videos the Yukon Outfitters water bottle this thing is a 32 ounce double walled insulated it keeps your beverages hot for a long time it keeps your cold beverages cold for a long time I think staying hydrated is key and then I also think it's kind of important just to have some things at your desk to kind of you know fidget with or to keep yourself busy. I keep a book on my desk called Stuff Every Man Should Know. Of course, what is a desk without a coffee mug? This is a coffee mug that was recently given to me by my oldest daughter. This is just a great good old Marine Corps coffee mug that I use. So for the actual drinking of the good old double oak over there, we always have a Glen Karen glass on the desk with a nice lid just in case it becomes five o'clock somewhere and we want to just indulge in that. Now sitting underneath the actual mouse itself is this mouse pad. I picked this, I think I just picked this thing up on Amazon. I liked it because of the fact it has every different type of knife that you can think of, the blades, you know, what do you call those different parts of a knife? 
and what does it mean? And so, you know, I kind of like to collect EDC knives and collect knives and look at knives. And so it's kind of nice to be able to see that. I don't really like having tons and tons of clutter on my desk, but I also don't want to make it seem like it's this super minimalistic desk. And finally, the thing that I'm actually sitting on, this is called the Vert Chair by Uplift. This thing is pretty nice, man. I, I picked it up. I, I'll link up below. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this thing, but it has adjustable arm handles, you know, goes up and down. And whenever I'm in the sitting position, this is the most ergonomical chair that I could find. And the biggest thing is I needed a chair that didn't have leather. It kind of had airflow circulation. I work in a garage. I live in Texas. I do have some AC in here, but it is kind of nice to just not have to worry about sticking to the seat, but also have an ergonomical flow. That's the main reason I chose this chair. I also kind of like the way it looks. Hey, so that's it, man. So what do y'all think, man? So do you think that there's anything that you might be able to add for your desk setup, your garage desk setup? Is there anything I'm missing I should add? This is always an evolving process. Listen, if you are not already a subscriber, come on, join the battalion. We like talking about man stuff, your man cave, your garage office, survival stuff. We would love to have you. If you're already a part of the battalion, appreciate you stopping by. Please give this video a like. I would appreciate that. It kind of lets YouTube know that they should share this with other folks. And this video is not gonna always be like everyone else's, right? You know, it's, it's good to have some variety. Everything on this desk was purchased by me. Nothing was given to me. There's nothing sponsored. I'm not hyping or advertising for anyone. And I'm going to try to link up as much of this stuff up as I can so that you guys can find it. You know, and it might be helpful for something that you might want to pick up. Hey, listen, if you like stuff like this, click, click here. I'm going to put my entire man cave up for you to check out. And if you want to see how the rest of my workflow goes in my garage, comment down below and let me know. We'll speak soon.